Today, we celebrate the Lily of the Mohawks, St. Kateri Tekawitha, one of the first Native American saints. Stay tuned to learn all about this hardcore saint. Becoming Catholic in Native America was not easy, but St. Kateri Tekawitha followed Christ to the end. Despite hostility from her fellow Mohawks, she became the first Native American, North American, to be canonized by the Catholic Church. Kateri was born in a Mohawk village in present-day New York. Her parents were the Mohawk chief and his wife, a Catholic Algonquin woman. Kateri's mother taught her and her brother Catholic hymns and prayers, which was Kateri's first encounter with Christianity. Like so many Native American villages in that area, Kateri's home was soon infected by smallpox. Kateri's family was killed, orphaning her at age four. She was cared for by her uncle and two of her aunts. The virus left her almost blind and very scarred. Because of her blindness, she was given the name Tekawitha, which is pronounced in Mohawk, Degagwitha, which means she who bumps into things. Then the Jesuits came. The black robes began spreading the gospel to Kateri's tribe. Although she did not yet make an active attempt at conversion, the teenage Kateri refused all the other Mohawk warriors who were offered her in marriage. The other Indians thought this quite odd, and it caused some hostility toward Kateri. She was baptized at the age of 20 as Catherine in the honor of St. Catherine of Siena. She began a rigorous prayer life, which brought more hostility upon her. She continued to refuse all marriage proposals, which baffled the other Indians. One young man told her to be normal or die. The Jesuits knew that she would no longer be safe in her home village. They prayed for a solution, and it came. Kateri was to be smuggled from her village into a Christian Indian settlement by a powerful Christian chieftain. With a few hair-raising escapes, Kateri was successfully delivered to the security of the Christian settlement and out of the reach of the other angry Mohawks. At the settlement, she kept busy caring for the sick and elderly, making penitential acts and praying. Her self-imposed penances, involving burns, thorns, and badly flavored food, were so harsh that a priest was forced to tell her to do only the penances he gave her, or he approved of. Her harsh penances eventually took their toll, and she was confined to bed. There she predicted the future, told people secrets of their lives, and warned people whose faith was not as solid as it should be. God called her home on April 17, 1680, at the age of 24. She died with the last words, Jesus, Mary, I love you, on her lips. Witnesses of her death say that her body was miraculously transformed not long after her death. The priest who gave her last rites wrote, This face, so marked and swathy, suddenly changed about a quarter of an hour after her death, and became in a moment so beautiful and so white that I observed it immediately. Kateri Tekawitha was declared venerable in 1943 and declared blessed in 1980 by Pope John Paul II. On October 21, 2012, she was canonized by Pope Benedict XVI. Her feast day is today, July 14th. She's the patron of the environment and ecology. Whatever that is. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked that video and want to see more about Awesome Saints, click the subscribe bar. It looks like this. Click it. It'll help us out a lot. Thanks. Also, check the description for links to learn more about St. Kateri.